Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Father, I ask you to please anoint this in the name of Jesus. I was led to read Psalms 105. Psalms 105, verse 4. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face evermore. You know why sometimes life seems to come down on us so hard and the negative issues that go on and the, the circumstances and the, the, the quandaries that we find ourselves in, they seem to become overwhelming at times. They seem to be drowning us in our own sorrow and we can't figure out what the heck, what is this? Well, one of the things we forsake we forget to do, we neglect, is this one word. Seek the Lord and his strength. A lot of us seek God in this situation. Oh God, oh Father, oh bless this situation. Get the enemy off my back. Lord, you see how they're doing me wrong. Lord, blah, 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 blah. And in essence, we're using the prayer to vent, to complain to murmur. But God says, seek the Lord and his strength. Now, my question to you is, are you obeying this word? You may be seeking the Lord morning, noon, and night. You may pray rings around me. But are you seeking this is the question. Are you seeking God's strength? There are times when in the norm, there are things we really can't handle, we really can't do. But when we seek God's strength, we find ourselves stretched beyond our own ability. How did I do that? There is no way I would have cracked under that weight, under that load, long time ago. How were you able to sustain? By seeking God's strength. Listen, when if you are carrying something, thank you, Lord. If you are carrying something and it is very very heavy and you're dragging your legs and you're barely able to get one foot in front of the other real struggle and someone comes along and says here let me get the other end of that I'll help you well all of a sudden now the thing did not lose any weight it is just as heavy as it was before the person came to help you. But now, because they have girded, they've undergirded their half of the load, all of a sudden, the weight has been distributed so that you're not feeling the brunt of it any longer. And now it is more easy, it is more, uh, you, uh, how can I put this? Your ability to move and and put one foot in front of the other and climb the staircase is much easier, much more doable now because someone else is sharing that load. Now imagine here comes another person. Oh, that thing is heavy. You guys need some help, I'll get the middle. They get the middle and they're helping and now the load is even lighter and somebody else comes on the other side. You've got four holding up this load. And all of a sudden, to you, it's not a load anymore. You can put one hand on it, reach back, open the door, so you can get in, the four of you. It's the same weight. It hasn't lost any weight. It's just as heavy as it was when you were carrying it by yourself. But now you have allowed assistance 
from the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. So now it's you, the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, that makes four. And now all of a sudden, the yoke is easy. The burden is light. That's why Jesus said, come unto me, all ye that labor, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon me, upon you, and learn of me, for I am lowly and meek and lowly of heart. My yoke is easy. I'm not quoting it exactly. My yoke is easy, and my burden is light. When you have help carrying something, you feel stronger. You feel like you can conquer the world because you've got fortitude, black backing you up. You've got reinforcements now. You're not in this thing alone. It's a good feeling. That's where the strength of God comes from. You're no longer depending on S-E-L-F. Now you're leaning on the everlasting arms of God which is what he wants you to do in the first place because even when the situation does not change, you do. When the situation, the heaviness is still very apparent, very evident, very present, your exhaustion is no longer there because God is girding you up and you have help carrying this load. And what was once a load is now a very light burden. Because God is not only reinforcing you, he is filling you with his joy. And the reason you know he's filling you with his joy is because with joy comes strength. The Bible says the joy of the Lord is your strength. Seek his face. Seek his joy. Seek God. Seek his strength strength and see how much easier your trials will be let alone the rest of your life god bless you